This is the, the, the first phase of the, the first governments of devolution in the last uh, five years. It's, it's now going to five years. And we, there is a lot that has been done. It's all over. Uh, we've traveled, I think this is the 27th county that we, that we have visited. And we've seen counties opening up. We've seen quite a lot of difference. There is power, there are hospitals running, there is water. We can see devolution at work. But at the same time, we read newspapers, the Audit Auditor General's report every financial year. We read reports from different counties, uh, over wastage and, and corruption. And my plea to all counties, it's not just uh, uh, Isiolo, is that if we can minimize the wastage and corruption uh, in, in county governments, the counties will lift up very, very quickly. That's, that, that's a, a genuine uh, feeling that I have. But I'm sure you also read those things. So all I meant to say is, you know, the message that has been repeatedly said over and over again, not only in Sioro, but almost the entire northern Kenya, the pastoral countries, is that um, they have been marginalized. It could possibly be true, given the, um, the development levels of, uh, of this part of the country. There are virtually no roads, no water, the, the levels of poverty so deep and almost like entrenched. I can understand their message and their complaints about marginalization. But the point is, the same society is now saying that we are celebrating the devolution. And, uh, they are wondering, people of the, these countries are wondering that you know, they, have, they, they have been almost all these resources out there of all these years and they weren't brought to their places. Now that it is there, now that it is there, there is going to be no room anymore for complaints about marginalization, about mistreatment, about you know being cut off from the center, about all these things. Now it is right up to them to determine their destiny and fate. Okay, unfortunately, the northern part of the country is also synonymous with clan conflicts, clashes over livestock, pasture, you know, those kind of, those old things, old traditional things. I think it's the high time that the leadership of this part of the country got their acts together and somehow got rid of that perception. You know, that is an old silly tradition that just doesn't make sense. They got the resources, in fact, they have very huge resources. When you add that to, you know, the equalization fund, which is also hefty, you know, they can do so much. They can really transform this thing.